being persistent as a leader is something that you got to do. My best learnings have been my biggest failures. Don't be afraid to fail. As a matter of fact, you should pursue failure. It's a great way to learn. It keeps you honest. So a couple of observations about leadership that I'd like to share with you real quickly, and then I'll wrap it up here. Um, leadership, from my perspective, it's, it's the people. It's the people around you. You'll be amazed what you can accomplish if you create disciples for the work that you do. All of you had your PhD advisor, and you will be advisors too one day. You will be mentors as well. Treasure that because it is by helping people that you build the momentum for the things that you want to accomplish with your dream. Stay true to yourself. You've got to have a vision of what you want to do. You've got to have a voice to carry out that vision. And you've got to have virtue. You've got to have a point of view about things. Don't be afraid to have a point of view. It's important to have a point of view. That's how you challenge the system. That's how we will solve problems for the healthcare systems of the world. Lean into your fears. I show this slide because I am morbidly afraid of edges. And it's because I was in the Rocky Mountains when I was a kid, and my brother walked up behind me. We were standing on this ridge, and he walked up behind me, and he took me by the shoulders and said this to me. And every time I get close to a ridge or a ledge, my heart jumps up into my throat even when I see this picture, which I'm not looking at. <laughs> I get edgy, okay, because of that moment that, that is so embedded in my brain. But you know what? One of the things I do is I go to tall buildings, and I go to the edge. I really do. I may be a nervous wreck when I'm done, but I do it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to Sydney, Australia here next week, and I've decided to climb the bridge in Sydney. Oh. It just makes me sick. <laughs> We've got to listen and learn. Listen and learn. Too frequently, leaders talk. Leaders need to listen if they're going to be effective. We need to look at for the resources that are around us everywhere. We need to embrace but measure change. And I, I think that this is a really important. We have to measure the change. We can't just go for change for the sake of change. And we need to reach out to your network. If you're planning for one year, plant rice. If you're planning for 10 years, plant trees. If you're planning for 100 years, plant people. It's an old Indian proverb. So I think we need to consider what it means for us to be healers in the true sense of the word. It is to plant leaders. That's what this program has done. You are the future of informatics. You're the people that will help us solve the problems.